Call of Duty has a long-standing history with Easter eggs in every single game that's come out in the franchise. Modern Warfare this year is no exception with a lot of very cool Easter eggs, if I do say so myself, and a lot that you may have missed. So today, we're going to break down 10 of those for you guys to check out. Let me know throughout this video how many you may have seen for yourself. Maybe you knew some of these, maybe you didn't. And of course, if you guys want to see more in the future. And also, if you're new to the channel, do be sure to hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare on a daily basis, Easter eggs, updates, and and all things in between, we got you covered. So that said, let's jump into it. Let's start out with number one here, which is a callback to the family lineage of the Zakaya family tree. We knew of Imran and as well Victor from COD 4, but they make a return here very subtly in the storyline and the final cutscene of the campaign, but also they have a little hold on a small little detail on the map of Gunrunner. Now, around various crates in the map of Gunrunner, there are stickers that say Zakayev Arms, which point to the arms distribution led by the family, which at first was just simply a callback that people thought of whenever this was seen in the Modern Warfare beta a month or two back now at this point, which serves its main purpose here in this video, but also goes a little further and extends into what may be a sequel and a follow-up, whether in Spec Ops or in maybe an actual sequel to Modern Warfare in two years' time. But as we stand with it right now, we do have a nice little callback to the Zakayev family. Next up in the mission Going Dark, your objective is to find Hadir within Barkov's estate, and when you finally get into the main building of the complex, the actual residence, you'll notice the hallways don some paintings of what is supposed to be historical figures and portraits of various people. When you approach one in particular, you might notice that it looks from if you've seen any behind the scenes stuff or marketing with the developers because this one in particular is Taylor Kurosaki, the studio narrative director at Infinity War, the one who was in charge of writing the entire campaign and getting it all together for us to play. It's not uncommon for developers or studio employees to put little bits and pieces of themselves into the game in some very minor aspect and something you have to actually look for, but this one is seemingly the newest of what we've had on offer within various Call of Duty titles to date. Next up, we're going to jump over to the multiplayer map, Saint Petrograd. Here, events take place in what is the mirror of today's St. Petersburg, only using the naming of the city pre-World War I, but you'll notice that any writing or calligraphy within this map is in Russian. Not many people will take the time to really ever translate this because a lot of the times it turns out to be nonsense, but Reddit user Music Flap ended up actually doing just that, in which, in particular, if you look at the tram station to the left of A flag, you'll notice there is a sign with quite a bit of text here on it. This is just an excerpt of it. I can leave the link down there in the description for you guys below so that you can see every bit that was a part of this sign but it ends up starting this is the place where i write really very tiny so i can fill the sign up with a lot of words that make it genuine when in reality it's all nonsense you won't know what i wrote because the text is so small that it is illegible and probably for the better because i can't speak or write russian and this will probably be long and in any case, I appreciate you, the person whom I've never met, who took the time to carefully examine this sign. Although we will never meet, it gives me joy to know that you are looking at my work. After some blurbs of actual helpful information, it ends up continuing on the nonsense, saying in any case, you should really stop looking at this sign. You have a train to catch. I would not want you to miss the train because of my account. In any case, between us, we'd never succeed. It will be better this way. We are from two different worlds, you, the organic form of life, and I am a sign. You can die tomorrow, and I, I already feel how my discontent is growing because electronic signs are installed in each terminal. So if you take the time to translate that, well, you won't get much out of it outside of just simply a fun little narrative and little story that goes along about you talking to a sign who wishes for a little bit more in his life. Is there any super deep meaning behind this? No, not really, but it's a fun little Easter egg no less that some of the art team had when designing the map. Now, while we're on the topic of Russian translations, one that's a little bit more obvious here to you and one that you may have seen for yourself is that of a specific location within the map of Tavorsk District. If you haven't played Ground War too much, you might not notice this, but if you've played it as much as I have, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Towards the back of A spawn and the HQ situated around A flag, you'll end up noticing that there is a little bit of a restaurant, a fast food joint, but listed in Russian. If you end up taking the time to look at this or translating at all what it may mean, it actually actually is the classic of Burger Town, or quite literally translating Burger City, but Burger Town from the classics of the Call of Duty franchise. Recently, Call of Duty actually did a little bit of a promotion with Burger King in which they turned a couple of locations into Burger Towns for a day, in which at the time I kind of just thought, hey, they're playing on the nostalgia of classic Call of Duty locations, but it actually turns out
out. This is indeed a thing within modern warfare. We see Burger Town already in a Russian setting, but also could be seeing the return in other upcoming locations. Next up at number five, we're gonna talk about Sergeant Kamarov's debt, 12 years in the making, finally being paid off. To which in this clip, you'll see that he says that he owes Price and the team one. Not so fast. Remember Beirut, you're with us. <laughs> I guess I owe you one. Bloody right you do. And well, follow up with this and you find out the payment is now in Modern Warfare 2019 in this soft reboot, to which in his entrance in the Spec Ops intro cutscene, you end up seeing Kamarov giving Price a pack of cigars for Beirut. Been a bad boy. From you, that's a compliment. Please, we're all friends here. I owed you for Beirut. Next up, we'll talk about a little bit of an Easter egg embedded on the HDR sniper rifle. Ever so often, we see some things embedded on weapon design. The one that sticks out to me the most as of recent years was that of the Man of War having the etchings of the numbers from Lost on it. But if we take a look at the HDR within Modern Warfare, you end up seeing that there are coordinates actually sketched on the side with the coordinates of 51 by 24 north and 30 by 3 east. If you input that into Google or anywhere you can input coordinates, you'll end up seeing that's actually the the coordinates for Pripyat, Ukraine, which is of course the location for many iconic scenes within the Call of Duty franchise, most notably all gillied up, and of course that intro of 50,000 people used to live here, now it's a ghost town. One of the just many ways that Modern Warfare and the Infinity Ward team are paying homage to the classic Modern Warfare trilogy. Next up in the mission Highway of Hell, this was this Modern Warfare's sniper level, one that seemingly a lot of people really enjoyed. There's some really interesting story narrative in this mission in particular, but without going it too far into that to do any spoilers definitely recommend playing it though if you haven't already the very beginning of this mission you end up taking Hadir's sniper and then shooting at targets to get acclimated to the coming levels and the wind the distance and all factors considered but whenever you do this you're tasked with at one point shooting a watermelon off in the distance to which Hadir ends up saying over his comms his fruit killing skills are remarkable now that may be a totally missable moment for some people but if you remember all the way back to COD 4 and even COD 4 remastered in the mission F FNG, the very starting training level, you'll notice that this is also something that Gaz tells you after you end up knifing the watermelon. Using your knife is even faster than switching to your pistol. Knife the watermelon. Nice. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Next up, we'll talk about with one that is a very subtle Easter egg that comes down to design intent, and that being the fact that we get a slight uncharted Easter egg within Modern Warfare. This one in the mission Clean House, where you have to clear out and secure the townhouse in Camden Town. One of the NPCs you'll end up going up against is dressed almost identically to that of another Naughty Dog project, the main character there, of Nathan Drake. Now, for those that don't necessarily recognize the correlation or importance here of this, Taylor Kurosaki, as well as a few others from Naughty Dog ended up coming over to Infinity Ward pre-Infinite Warfare, and of course, Naughty Dog has a huge serving of fantastic titles, but of those was the Uncharted franchise. The penultimate Easter egg we'll talk about here comes in the mission The Embassy, where you end up having the ability to go through the server room, but instead of going through the server room and just completing and going to the next portion like many players would, if you end up taking a second to stop in that server room and actually turning around looking by the door, there's a console that once you shoot it, or interact with it in the sense of exploding it at all, it will actually initiate a game of Pong with itself. It's playing, but there's text overlaid on top of it before you end up shooting it, but the rest of the console needs to be deactivated before you can simply see it playing Pong. Now you can't yourself play this, but it will play against itself, to which it's just a fun little easygoing easter egg that again doesn't serve too much a purpose, but is an interesting little art addition. And the final thing here deals with one that I'm sure you've probably heard some whispers of, but to me is one that is activated in various different ways, but it's one of the more comical death screen text overlays that we've seen in COD history. Now of course the ways to activate this and going about it may not be the most comical, but the end result is a good way to deal with anybody trying to troll the progress of the game. In any case, where you've repeatedly take out the same non-combatants, most notably that of either killing the baby by blowing it up or shooting it in the mission clean house, or if you end up shooting the butcher's family multiple times over, you'll end up getting the prompt that you can't shoot non-combatants. But on the third time, you'll end up getting simply the text prompt of, are you serious? Question mark, And it will then boot you out to the main menu selection for where you can select your missions. Anytime I see this, I just think of the game personified like, dude, really? 
you're not going to progress. You're going to do this. And so in any case, maybe I'm the only one that finds it a little bit comical, that end result of the are you serious? But that's going to conclude our list of 10 Easter eggs you may not have known about here within Modern Warfare. Like we said at the very beginning, if you knew of any of these or if you learned something new along the way, feel free to let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But of course, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare, Easter eggs like this. Maybe we can end up doing a second one if you guys want to see more Easter Easter eggs like this and of course anything regarding updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel so do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys are new and want to step to do with all that kind of stuff and of course if you want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected outside of youtube practically live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question where it may be that link is down there in the description below well, what's that now the way thank you guys all so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace